All right, guys, Lucky Sevens here with a deck that I uh, played against. So I didn't come up with myself, but after getting beat by it, I tried to recreate. And it is, we're going to call it Just Guy Draw in the video. But really, it's just pretty much that archetype that they kind of gave you in Eldraine with um, just draw a card and get these activators in Iron Craig, Pyromancer, and Improbable Alliance. And yeah, we'll, we'll shuffle this around so it makes even more sense explaining. But really, you just get a draw with Opt and Radical Idea, and then the payoff cards in Improbable Alliance and Iron Crag, who is my queen. She She's so good. <laughs> and then you have a bunch of cards that draw stuff, but do other things as well with another payoff in Divine Visitation and the dispose, uh, Dispersal, which also helps with Divine Visitation. Um, actually winning the game later and I guess we can't put the queen first but we put divine visitation on the payoff cards but either way this is a good way to look at it because we have cards that just draw we have cards that do other things plus draw and we have a good cycle along with everything especially elite guard mage planeswalkers are always strong but elite guard mage flying is a big deal I tried this deck out pretty much as with like a little bit more counters and I came across it by trying to do Arc Light Phoenix and finding out that just didn't work. This kind of is it counter burn strategy works pretty well with Iron Craig Pyromancer and Crackling Drake, but it just it wasn't clicking. You know, like Crackling Drake was one of the only cards that really popped with it. So it was Iron Craig and Probable Alliance, Iron Craig pretty much like the core set of it, but instead of Elite Guard Mage had uh, Crackling Drake. But then you missed out on using a bunch of the other cards that draw and um, Crackling Drake just wasn't hitting as hard. An Elite Guard Mage I found was better most times, weirdly enough, because I didn't have to rely on spells. I just had a powerful 2-3. And as you can see with the deck, um, there was only 12 instant sorcery spells in Dispose, uh, Dispose Dispersal and opt and radical idea the rest were just cards that drew stuff but actually had other functions so i didn't like relying on that way even though as you can see in this video worked out incredibly well but most of the times i would just get run down by a more aggressive deck and trying to play arc light phoenix in it i think i only even had one in this version and then trying to rely on counter spells didn't work and burn isn't as efficient as it used to be because you don't have lightning strike uh you have lava coils but again something like clash control you just get worked over and this is admittedly a really cool deck that i tried to make myself but at the same time I was playing against other really cool decks and I was just watching the one that I had falter time and time again until the magic happened and I played against this guy using the Jeff Guy Draw deck in a best of three. Honestly almost had him, but not with this uh the Is It deck. And I immediately knew the Is It deck that I made was trash. I just I was like I don't want it anymore. Playing against Reanimator, I lost. Playing against them, I probably would have lost. Playing against aggressive decks, I lost. Playing against counter, like uh, more uh, counter versions that like control. Because every once in a while, you still face a control deck or a fire control deck, and that was fine. But this was, uh, yeah, this was it. This is like when when you see the deck, it's um, everything kind of makes sense, and it just has a line of attack in flyers or iron crag and it just uh even dispose dispersal i use a lot both sides sometimes i'll use that with an opt on the end of their turn or in the middle before their combat so they can't get a swing in with like say a questing beast with haste and then i'll draw uh, i'll draw two cards you know just a good cycle of hand and with iron crag shoot down something else usually um and it's just solid. The lands are feel really good, which is the weirdest part about it. I have yet to have a real issue with it, even with the Castle Embrinth, which I think is like the one thing I didn't see in his version. But I kept thinking, oh my god, if they if he drops the Castle Embrinth, if they have it, that would kill me because they would have two, three flyers in the air with um 
improbable alliance which is like one of the cycles with divine visitation that makes it work so i'm definitely putting this second one in here um if i had anything to do with the deck i'd probably drop one more dovin's acuity i might drop a divine visitation but honestly i think two works because if you lose one you definitely have the option for the other one and that's how i was being the fields deck which is crazy it's banned right <laughs> So I'm gonna name it Just Got Draw now. That joke of borrowed not stolen is over. Let's get into it. Good hand. And yeah, you guys see the deck kind of just has a solid flow and function. You're just drawing things until you get Iron Craig, Pyromancer, or Improbable Alliance. And then the game plan continues. You just keep on drawing things. So uh, one of, I guess, the bad things that really would mess up the deck is Narset, but can't avoid that um, that's what Narset does you know it's uh, people don't like the card or are angry at it at times because that's what it does it's like kind of like a prison deck uh, or a prison effect same with Teferi not being able to do instance Teferi, uh, Narset saying nah 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 you can't draw those are the cards that we try to avoid oh, and of course we have it first game but <laughs> that's fine we'll just draw now even though it didn't make a difference we're gonna take Iron Craig anyway because we don't win without her very easily. Um, being only being able to only draw one per turn means that we're probably gonna have to let one of these elite guard mages just do work, or would have to use like a um, dispose dispersal or something in that vein. But right now, um, I say we could drop her on the board to block stuff. We could use Teferi to bounce Paradise Druid. Couple of options, but since we don't draw with Teferi, it is kind of just annoying. We definitely gotta wait for Elite Guard Mage or Dispose Dispersal to get in there. But for now, I think it's best to just uh, disrupt them a little bit with this Teferi. Hopefully brush off some count, um, instant speed things that you're thinking about doing or anything in that vein. And hopefully we can catch them off guard with a good Dispose Dispersal and then our game plan will start flowing again. Um, let's see. Yeah, that fourth lane is gonna be good. Um, Oko too. Yeah, so this guy is just uh, Open your heart to the four color the asshole. What is this? <laughs> I actually don't know. Ooh, divine visitation is big. That's gonna be. Hopefully, you see it in this game, and we can uh, show out with it later. But for now, I think we just plus. We don't want to do Elite Guard Trust Mage me. just in case they plan. minus Oko and play something. Or, not minus Oko, I'm sorry, plus one Oko. So stupid. And we're definitely just going to get this uh, disposal off at the end of the turn. Another food, okay. It's not poisoned. So maybe Trust they're not even trying to kill Teferi. That might come up big because we only need one more plus. And we can use Iron Craig Parliament to the block, hopefully. And then next turn, start going in. Yep, yep, Paradise Jewel. So yeah, I think uh, Arthur Ferry was the right move. That definitely seemed to disrupt him a little bit. At the very least, they couldn't play Kazmina this turn. And now we get to uh, hit Narset, not kill her. But we'll have the Elite Guard Mage as well. And they didn't make the food, so we'll see what happens. Let's see. A mighty warrior. Okay. I can see. And we got a fifth land, which is really good too. So we're gonna play one elite guard mage. We're just trying to get up to the point where um we can play both Iron Craig Pyromancer and Dovin's Acuity. And then next turn we'll play another elite guard mage or I'll maybe use Teferi's Minus. Again, it just just has this flow to it. It just keeps on drawing cards, and then you get the payoff cards synced in with those cards, and it it just keeps going. For some reason, well, for obvious reasons, it burnt out a lot with Izzet because I was just using these spells over and over again. And that's probably something that would have bounced. Chromatic Lantern. They really are just playing just five color good cards, maybe? <laughs> but either way, yeah, we're we're good right now. We'll see how much damage Oko does before we can kill it. And yeah, this is fine. We're doing good. We're doing good. And again, just having things up in the air helps with uh, killing the planeswalkers, which is why Castle Emberth is so big. Because having like a board state like this, if we got Castle Emberth next turn, it would change up exactly what we do. Like we might just use One that bite. 
two iron crags. Uh, I think either way was shocking here for sure. The question is, do we just play both iron crags and then minus with Teferi? Or do we play one and use Dovin's acuity? Hmm. It's a tough, uh, tough predicament. We're definitely doing this. Now we do another one and Teferi bounce the Chromatic Lantern. That way we can kill a Paradise Druid and hit Oko. That's at 10 loyalty. Oh my god. We could just kill Oko. We could just kill Oko. We got to see where this damage is going. Because we could kill a Paradise Druid or we can kill Oko. But we definitely for sure bounce a Chromatic Lantern and activate these Iron Crags. Oh, Might he's be a so bad good. idea. Oh, she is my queen. <laughs> All right, I feel like Jon Snow at this thing. Is my uh, let's just kill Oko. It's gonna be annoying because in my mind they have another one, but even if they catch one of the Iron Crags in the plus, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to stop it. Five color planeswalkers with chromatic lantern. Weird deck idea, but I'm not mad at it. They still got enough of Kazmina. Let's see what they do. It's a fairy, okay. That actually like makes our next turn easy. We're just gonna play Iron the Pyromancer again along with Dovin like Security. It. Or another Elite Guard Mage. But as you see, it's like we've only used one actual spell this turn. It's just that all our cards, including Elite Guard Mage and Teferi and Royal Signs that we just picked up all draw cards and it just makes life simple in this case I think we will go Royal Scions we don't need the life gain um, we'll keep that in case we want to ditch it but we should be fine Actually, go upstairs too. It's like, yeah, we're just in a good position. One of these uh, pyromancer activations, and there goes another instant. So, I think now we'll be able to play Dovin's acuity next turn. But uh, I really want to get this divine visitation one off. So, I don't know what to chuck. I'm guessing it's the land, but it does get us further away from getting that done in one turn. So one there, one upstairs. Go to fairy, keep up the pressure with the flyers. And we're in an uh, insanely good position. Because Royal Scions, while not as powerful as Oko, has a disgustingly high loyalty. So unless they have a card to take care of it, it should be able to just keep on drawing us cards all game. Uh, we'll probably get this Divine Visitation off and try to figure out exactly what we do if they have something like a board clear or a way to destroy our stuff. Or not. Or we can just finish it like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, perfect. Okay, this is another good hand. Um, not great. Probable alliance I do like early. Um, yeah, this this deck this is gonna come down. This game at least gonna come down to, do they have um, say like Loxodons to get out of Pyromancer range, or, and or do they have like uh the tribunal like do they have a way to stop iron craig pyromancer because i'm not going to be able to sync it together unless we pick up an opt and then i might save it for turn four so i at least get sure value out of it but this is looking bad already yeah this is looking like a loxodon and that means that oh good okay perfect it's just it. okay so we're still in range to get some work done with the pyromancer so i think we have to slap it down these other cards aren't really doing anything uh they're about yeah they could have they could kill the royal scions dove acuity is good but it's just gonna uh, it's just not a good situation they keep on touching the creatures which makes me think they have a conclave or yes of course locks it up okay so one thing's out of range two things out of range we're not in a great position um, I think we do Royal Scions or Dovin's Acuity. Maybe we need the life. So this um, this is the, that's the one that's looking the best right now, especially synced together with this Scry. Don't need land. And now we gain some life and shoot something down. Um, 
it's probably gonna have to be that's actually very good just to make some blockers each turn that's very good so now we can take care of uh the pegasus that's gonna be doing the most damage to us and i like the tithe takers who we can just kind of uh chump with uh, the this, this zero four um the other ones are gonna be a problem and more tithe takers fantastic all right so they can do that which means we are going to want to um we are going to want to kill that with iron craig we're gonna have to take two life here but i it a hundred percent has to get done I hope that doesn't make us lose later down the line, but there's no way that's not like the right move. Okay. Uh, I land. Maybe a Royal Scion is the second one that I need. Nobody yet but knows. I say the land. We got Opt and this other thing, which is perfect, because that means on their turn, we'll be at, no, with high takers, we won't. We still need to kill that right now, but we're not going to be able to do like an opt plus uh, depo dispose or whatever um, on the end step because of these three ties takers, which sucks. For now, we get some okay blocks though. Okay, so we can do this and we got to just uh, block the big boys. Which is unfortunate, but best to take three. Each turn we'll be able to make um two one one so Ooh, it just keeps getting worse, huh? So now we could hmm. Yeah, we just absolutely use this ability and shoot down a tie taker. That's really our only option because they have been drawn clean. Like exactly what would be the worst against our deck Let they have been drawn over and over. It doesn't look like they're going after our royal signs. We can toss that. Two of these is good. We kill a tie taker who makes a 1-1, one, one, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, we don't have enough mana still to do what we want to do next turn. So we might have to just do like a radical idea at their end step and just, uh, just a filter. We're really, yeah, we're really getting... Or, you know what? This is where Castle Embrith can come into play. But we'll see. We'll see. Like, if we use that defensively, it's not it's not a bad idea. Um, using this now is also isn't a bad idea. We get Doan's Acuity back in our hand. Yeah, no. This is actually better than Castle Embrith, I think. But it means we can opt now also. Do we save that for later? No. Uh, okay, we'll do the opt. Take this back and let's just see what we get. Elite Guard Mage, that's good. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have the mana to do all these things, but for sure that is a good card. Um, is it better than this, though? No. We gain 5 life from this, and it's more blockers. Oh god, they're drawing so good. <laughs> I walk a righteous path. Oh god. Okay. Still not doing bad. Uh, I don't know what that was. Life link doesn't matter. That really is doesn't seem like the right thing. So we'll block one here. We'll uh block one of these, block one of these. Do we double block this other one or do we keep hmm we can take no we can take three damage this turn? Now if we kill one of these tie takers, I think that way we can start doing these radical ideas. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kill one of these tie takers. Hmm. Yeah, that seems fine. We can take six, which is wait a minute. We didn't have to take six. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know why I didn't look at the lines right, but we definitely could have taken less damage. We could have taken, I, that's definitely going to make us lose. Another Iron Craig is really good, and it's not going to be enough. We definitely do that. Uh, and then we definitely draw. Um, the question is, what do we kill now? 
If we kill both the flyers with Gideon on board, it's going to be so tough. But we get to get a free block on a tie taker, so maybe we don't even kill the tie taker. We just kill these two flyers. Um, damn, no, that's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, my God. I think it's better just to get more chump blockers. Now we can toss Elite Guard Mage. I guess we don't need it now. Um, maybe we don't need Dovin's Acuity? It's tough. It's tough. One of them. Okay, we'll take that. And we're definitely going to double up on this um, radical idea. So essentially we're going to be doing the same thing as if we got the Iron Craig on. But now we get to create... Um, now we get to shoot something else down while creating four flyers, which is better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That that damage is gonna haunt us. Because now we can do Radical Idea plus Radical Idea, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Let's see. Mm. What we need it was like a Depose, a Dispose or whatever. Because now we get to shoot down one flyer, make a whole bunch of blockers just not it depends on what their draw is if they draw something then we lose if not we got enough blockers to not die but um yeah we're gonna, we're gonna no we we die on board unless we lose iron craig and it doesn't matter okay we lose iron craig they drew so clean yo four lands done had a bunch of stuff for loxanon which is the thing that gets out of the way and we messed up because we could have survived this if we actually didn't take that hit where we messed up assigning blockers. And then we had had two iron pegs. And, oh my god, that's just annoying. That's uh that's one of those games again where my mistake is uh what got us there though. So that's on me. Just gonna have to let it go on to the next one. Play better. Be nice. And this is this is fine hand. Uh, no red, but we got Fabled Passage. Teferi might get us there before we even have to use it. Opt might get us there before we even have to use it. This is fun. <laughs> Alright. Hollow Fountain. Um, might come to bite us in the ass, but let's just play it tap. Let's not lose life. That white weenie deck got us scared. Plus, we don't really have a two other than uh, Improbable Alliance, so I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah, more aggressive decks. Okay. Um, well, that's good. Now we can save the Fabled Passage. Uh, we'll just play a Mountain. Most likely opt on their turn, but there's also a chance we save it because that like turn 4-1-2 combo with Iron Crag is just huge. Looks like we're going to have to find some answers. Dovin's a QE's not bad in a, you know, aggressive thing, but that's the reason why. Oh, there it is. Oh, now I wish we saved that. Well, if we didn't save the Alpha, we would have just gotten Dovin's Acuity. It is what it is. Or we wouldn't have. It would have been stolen with Robert the Rich, and then we would have had Iron. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> let's just not think about it. Um, let's bounce Trust this night. Thank me later. Here we go. Hopefully, we find something that we can sync together and deal with this uh, Robert the Rich. We lose to fairy. That's fine. Oh uh, well, less fine when they play together cards like that. Oh my god! Why is everyone getting such a good draws? <laughs> it's not a bad thing for them. To take. I would have liked to play that this turn, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I guess we just do another to fairy. Um. Definitely use this. This just tap this hollow fountain from now, so we don't lose any more life. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's a very piece of garbage. I Tempo know. Responsibility. Let's try this. 
yeah, if they want to play it again, then that's fine. Um, our, it just depends on where this first shot of Iron Crag is going. Because after the Iron Crag plus Radical Idea, we have to decide uh, where to shoot. I guess Dreadhorde Butcher is a good place if they do that again. Naya the Ebon Legion, absolutely, if they pump it. Robber of the Rich is a good idea. It's, um... As long as that wasn't a spawn of mayhem that we just saw, we we got a chance to get back into this. Especially since we're only losing three life, so knight doesn't get pumped. My worst yeah, so we just gotta think. Where do we where do we shoot this? Where do we point you, Iron Craig? That's good. So we got that next turn also. Let's just get this one now. <laughs> Might need another red, but the Castle Embrant, who knows? Yeah, I guess they did tap me right. Uh, yeah, just one red is a touch annoying, but it shouldn't be a problem. Most of the cards that we, low cost cards that we need to like sling things together are uh, not red. The Castle Embrant, there it is. Now we don't care. Um, I guess it's robber if we don't want them to play stuff, but we're fine with them playing our stuff. Knight of the Ebon Legion is annoying, Dreadhorde Butcher is annoying. Everything here on this board is type annoying, so let's kill that just in case they have a kill spell. Because if they have a kill spell, that's the thing that's going to get out of hand. If they keep holding back three mana for Knight of the Ebon Legion, we are perfectly fine with that. But yeah, this murderous rider, if we let that other thing slide for too long, we would have been in trouble. So now we get the Royal Scions, but we're going to have to use it to dig for something unless we get a good draw here. Nope, it's just another Royal Scions. So let's, um, yeah, let's play this, use Royal Scions, most likely pitch this Sacred Foundry. And then maybe we can use Dispose Dispersal. Maybe we just use Dispose Dispersal to try to catch them off guard. And we still have a radical idea that we can also use. So I think that's the move. Um, let's kill the robber. We don't want them to pump with Knight. But they've gained a lot of value off of this robber of the rich. And we don't want them to get even more. So if they have another kill spell and they use it on this like one of these doctors in order to save robber, we're fine with that. But the life gain is good. Get a good surprise block. And we, like I said, got Radical Idea. So we can do that. Hopefully get something to play with this Royal Scions. And a probable alliance or, as always, the Queen is our best draw. Let's see what they do. They do kill us. Okay, so Bone Crusher isn't as bad. But it does still block. We still do save some life. Get rid of one of these instead of the Sacred Foundry. Okay. So now, ooh, there it is. Improbable Alliance Elite Guard Mage. Just try just trying to get back as best we can. So we got one of the payoff cards, which is perfect. And it's an enchantment, so it'll be hard for uh, Black Red to deal with this. You can play this tapped, and then it's time to just uh, keep the train going with uh, Royal Scions and Improbable Alliance. This is fine. It's a weird block, if I'm being honest. I won't let that slide because they're going to probably pump with the other one or play Bone Crusher. Either or, we can take two. And I'd rather have a double block on one of the knights to force them to uh, pump anyway. Spawn of Mayhem. That is not what we like to see. Um, the real question here is pretty much do we, we do Scry first? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We do that. We're going to need another one, but for now, ah, we don't have enough to do Castle Ember. That sucks. That sucks. It is what it is. I think the question is now, do we just run this out? Do we run uh, the Pyromancer when we draw it? Plus this land just in case they go after this Royal Science, because we do need it to just continue the flow. But I think we save it. We have enough mana to do everything that we need next turn. Cancel that attack. 
Yeah. Tough, tough situation. And one of Mayhem's got trample, which is Ooh, Rankle. Don't let them do that either. Depends on how heavy they go in, but we should be fine. I think right now we block. Ooh, they're going in, huh? Yeah. Hmm. How do we block? Rankle isn't a problem. But we can't take that boogie of a hit, can we? Can we double block this knight? And take seven? One of them has to block Rankle. And we'll save the other one back. Same principle as last time. But we can't take that three. Not right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Well, that's a good draw. Oh, we're going to have to use some Castle Embrance shenanigans. Possibly kill... Of uh, the knight and have elite guard mage to block and blah 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 blah. I had all the ideas, but now I'm thinking the, the game plan. Let's definitely ditch this. Hopefully, we can gain some life with that. Is we kill Spawn of Mayhem. We have uh, we're gonna have three blockers, so I think they're not gonna be able to like put something else on the board that's really gonna mess with us. Rankle is legendary, also. Um, we could kill ourselves, but no. Let's kill Spawn of Mayhem. Let's put both of these on Spawn of Mayhem, even though it's an overkill. We just, that trample is too big, too. And now we just sit back, relax. These, these unless they got more kill spells, these uh, Pyromancers are going to take over. Dover's Acuity next turn is going to be great, yeah. And then this is where um, Castle Emberth might make us close. Good game. Good game. <laughs> we just made it out. <gasps> Woo! That was a good draw. We needed that. Maybe this deck needs some shocks. Um, this is kind of a bad hand. I don't like not having blue. We could try to use the uh, Dispose or whatever in order to draw later. But with two, two red, let's see, red and white sources, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. This is better. Opt will get us our red. Dolan Security is a good card. I'd say because we don't have the red, we could do ditch our Royal Scions. Opt and Dolan Security is the key. For, so, yeah, let's just get rid of it. And um, we're still looking for things, so we're going to opt. We don't want it. Even though we could sync it together with Dolan Security, I think it's better to just find out what our game plan is going to be. We need a red source. Hopefully, we don't hit another land, but we need a red source. And that's fine. So we got Dome Security, Elite Guard Mages. Even against Mono Red, that feels good. That feels like card draws. I mean, life gain is really good. There we go. Oh, Improbable Alliance? Yeah. This is good. Oh, this is real good. <laughs> they must have known. <laughs> oh, yeah. Solid stuff. All right. So at this point, unfortunately, the sound does cut off. Going to play some music to soothe you instead but I did uh, I guess I messed up on the recording or there was a problem with it so got a couple more games in this and uh, yeah just gonna hear me talk on the over some music like a NPR show or something <laughs> let's play probable alliance even though we don't have that third land that we want we'll be able to find it hopefully but hmm I don't know what we're playing right now. Oko, most likely. If it is Oko, I, I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach. I hate that card. No, Notion Rain. Huh. Well, at least they're going off the beaten path. Notion Rain, Tamiyo. All right, I respect it now. Um, Op will be able to see more cards, but it just isn't mana efficient. How lucky do we feel? How lucky do we feel? Not lucky at all. Yep, good job. <laughs> not greedy. Well, not good enough, I guess, though. Yeah, we're gonna need this third land, huh? Another goose. Maybe they're just, like, soul Thai food? Hmm. It looks like they're... They didn't play another land yet either, so hopefully that's a thing that we can avoid. Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. Well, there goes our third land. 
Let's grab that planes. Alright, hopefully we get uh, an island. We can op together. Yeah, this is uh this is good. This is good. Not too like improbable lines going is unfortunate, but we should be fine. Um they want to use more kill spells, do we let that rock or I think we play raw scions. And just uh keep on fishing for land, ditch one of these uh, radical ideas. There it is. There goes that sweet fourth land. And it was a good thing to save this uh, pyromancer, pyromancer plus opt. Now we'll be able to do that next turn. Possibly even just that and radical idea and save it. But we should be able to uh, sink everything around it as usual. Unfortunately, it does seem like this is a control shell. But a control shell missing their lands as well is good. <laughs> We're fine with that. Um, do we want double white for divine visitation? We already have one at the bottom, but I guess this will sh could shuffle it back to the top. We got two blue, so yeah, I guess we are. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. One thing I do know is we're not going to need it after this, so let's tap correctly anyway, just in case. And we'll use a uh, good old pyromancer to kill something in conjunction with royal scions. I think we'll get to end up most likely ditching another radical idea. Hmm, they do have it. Well, luckily our thing, we need to have a radical idea pop off. So now we'll just uh, kill the goose. We lose pyromancer, but we now we get another basic land. We have a bunch of basics now that I think about it, which is fantastic. So these uh, assassin's trophies aren't doing us too bad. I'm actually happier that they did that than um, do something with the goose, make a food with the goose. Because it seems like they're stuck on mana. And yeah, I, w I would have suspected them to just uh, make a food. But it looks like they really wanted, they really thought they were going to catch this uh, pyromancer slipping. And they we wouldn't be able to kill one of them. But now we got them in a good position. We just need to find another payoff card now that pyromancer and alliance is gone. Which again is another like tell of the meta where um, hmm, we actually could get rid of this land. Yeah, we'll have more card draw. We played our land for turn already. But um, yeah, there's just not a lot of removal in this format right now because everyone's just like aggressive or they're playing Golos. But luckily that's going to be gone soon. And unfortunately Oko is just always going to be a problem. We'll We'll see. We'll see how the uh, how the format shapes up after this banning, but I'm uh my my hopes aren't high. I'm just like, okay, we saw that coming. And there definitely was way too many people playing Bangolos. It looks like they got more removal. Hopefully nothing silly like a uh, counter spells. I don't know what they play in that deck, cuz I don't know what the hell that is, but hmm. What do we do? This first is always no reason to pump up an attack. Uh, now we know we can ditch a land. And we'll play Elite Guard Mage for sure. If we want to do Dovin's Acuity, then that's fine tapping wise. <laughs> yeah, let's draw a card. Yeah, that's the good thing about it. Because of all this draw, it just feels like constant pressure. And yep, they use the goose for the land. Um, there's a chance. So what we could do, we'll probably play Dolan's Acuity. But what we could do is just uh, pause before they're or on their draw step. And then use the Dispose to block them off from mana. But in my mind, the only thing that we want is stuff like this Iron Crag. And the, only, the worst thing they can play right now is... Uh, Anissa, Garuk, we can kill a Garuk after with the Pyromancer now, Nissa, we can kill in the air, um, I guess not now since they have the Golden Goose block, but yeah, even that, that's fine. They're so low on life, I'm thinking, do we even kill that? But maybe we do. Maybe we just uh, shoot down this Goose. 
I guess we can't kill it now. Well, it could. Hmm. Yeah, the goose being a blocker does make that tougher. But uh, our royal science is getting up there, so we could just use her too, or them, girl and boy. What are their names again? Will, Will, and uh, Ro Rowan, Ronan. What's her name? I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. Deck is odd. Okay. So definitely first things first. Let's put our pyromancer down. Now, we're using you. Are we just... I think we are just laying off of this. We draw four cards, we'll be at eight. And we'll be able to kill them. This is just kill, right? Unless they have something special, we should just be able to kill them. So let's just go for the kill. That's crazy. Oh, man. Nice. I didn't see that coming. Not going to lie. That is a car that is not on the radar. Well, um... Okay, so we can kill, we can kill to, uh, Tamiyo now, and I think that is the move, because it seems like they, they're they looking for like that one card that could bring them back into the game, and we just gotta not let it. Um, yeah, and our deck's just doing our things, we got plenty of cards, we got pr plenty of plays, we're just, uh, yeah, they caught us, wow, wowzer, that's a card, huh? <laughs> that is a card, holy shit. Alright, um, could just play Dovin's Acuity or we can, uh, same thing, tap the goose down on their turn. I think we play Dovin's Acuity and look for our opt, but now we'll be able to play, like, card draw plus radical idea, radical idea on their turn. So I'm thinking that's the move. Or even dispose radical idea. Another notion rain. Such an odd choice. I'm seeing some interesting cards from them, not gonna lie, it's pretty dope. But now I'm not sure what they could have that really scares me. Even Ritual said it's like, okay, still got the Elite Guard Mage and we just gotta dig for another Pyromancer. Okay, well, we do have one more basic, don't we? So that is fine, but they caught us with that too. Yeah, okay, we're just looking for this Pyromancer. Nope, that's not it. Good enough, if I'm being honest. Now we play Elite Guard Mage plus Teferi. Yeah, good enough. Let's uh, tap better. I guess we can't do it all at once, it doesn't matter. All right, well they, they I thought maybe we could have played this Hollow Fountain and I want to do Dover's Acuity also and they're playing two whites and blah, 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 whatever. This is fine. Okay, Royal Science, that's good. We can dig that back up. <laughs> and we got Radical Idea to uh, get rid of this excess land. What's this? What you got? Really, taking life, what is this? Agent of Treachery, I see. What are you gonna take though, Elite Guard Mage? Okay, now we can use the dispose part of this right tap that down and hopefully we find this extra one point of damage either in a castle emperor or in uh iron crag oh wait sorry we can use royal science plus yep that's the way to go easy path to victory let's do exactsies let's attack with just elite guard mage there it is there it is found the route found the line I, you know what? I would usually stop the video here, but I really, really like this deck. Let's go one more. One more last match. And yes, this is a good hand for the last match. Oh, yeah, this is a good hand. Don't like not going first as usual, but when do I ever? When do I ever go first? There it is. Okay, what are they playing? 
Okay. Yep, we'll take as many of that as you can give us. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's fine. This is, uh, hmm, don't know what it is yet. Maybe it's like a life game? I do want to make a life game deck. That's probably going to be one of the next things I do. And we'll see what they have. See how we want to play Doe Security with uh, the Pyromancer. Ooh, Esper Control, huh? Okay. Okay, I can, I can dig this. Really, a plus instead of taking care of Improbable Alliance. Bold move, but probably the right one. Let's just do this then. And let's look for a way to sync up this Iron Craig later. Because now doing seeing that makes me feel like they also play Narset. And we're going to want to do some type of pressure with these Planeswalkers. Or if it's a Doom Foretold deck, which I guess is the premier Esper, then we want to uh, have these tokens to get rid of. Or the Dove of Acuity, which we will happily toss. Yeah, if we see like a Doom Foretold here, they'd lose their Teferi and then we just lose a token, which is fine with us. This is... That play, ooh, yeah. We don't have a second white, no. We're gonna find it, we'll find it. Okay, so now, what What were they holding for? They had four mana and we're just chilling? Hmm, don't get it, but, all right. Yeah, now we'll see what they do. Okay. Let's, uh, Do this. Let's delve into security. Pick your all card, kill Teferi, and then we'll figure it out. Again, we are holding up that mana just in case we they did like an instant speed kill spell, and then we just tap our own Pyromancer to make sure we kill Teferi, get some value out of her. For now, there's no reason to use this. We'll just hold back. We could get it to get both Dovin's acuities, but it doesn't feel worth it. Attack for zero, yes. Let's see. So they're stuck on mana, which is fine. I'm guessing this means that they're gonna have a Kai's Wrath. So we don't want to spew too much on the board. Um, Oath of Kaya before Kai's Wrath. All right, I, I'm i still sniffing a Kai's Wrath. So how do we want to do this? I guess. We want to find this second white source, but we want to force this play of Kai's Wrath. That way we can get uh, Divine Visitation off. So let's do Opt. Let's look for the second white source. Yeah, let's take them back. If they have Doom Foretold, then that doesn't matter. We got a token. But yes, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And now we don't care about anything. We'll let them wipe the board. And then we'll do um, Divine Visitation plus the, well, we're going to need to find another land, but we'll figure it out. Definitely the goal is just get this Divine Visitation off, let them use Kai's Wrath. There it is. Okay, so for now, we could do, we can do Pyromancer plus uh, Teferi, I guess. Or Dovin's Acuity. Maybe Dovin's Acuity makes more sense. I don't know. Do they have instant spells? Do I want to take them off of being able to use instants? Or is this line better? I think this is better, especially since it's what they see. And we're looking for... Yep. There it is. There goes our next land. So now they're back in a position where uh, the Pyromancer is really going to pressure whatever they put on the board. We're fine against Doom Foretold. Another Sky's Wrath makes the most sense, and then we can hopefully slip in this uh, Divine Visitation plus another Dovin's Acuity, triggering Improbable Alliance and creating a 4-4. And then we can do the deploys after. This uh, We're in a good spot. We'll see how they, uh, how they respond. What you got, what you got? 
something. Jesus. Well, all right. So we're definitely doing this. We actually can't even use um, Dovin's Acuity. I forgot about the white, but that's fine. We still can use one of these disposes. And I can't see why that's not what we do. Let's see, do they have a way to stop this? What is their six mana play? Nothing so far. And I am fine with how everything is turning out. <laughs> okay, there we go, we got it. I don't know what they took their life for. Maybe they thought maybe we had like chemisters? I don't know, but we'll take it. Yeah, and I also lied, we're doing one more. <laughs> Oh, I love this deck so much. Yeah, and this is a good hand. Just Iron Craig plus shit. Get that fourth from now. We'll be good. Okay, there it is. Some white weenie. Some white we we get revenge. You know what? Yes, we have to yeah, let's try to let's try to win. End on this. Getting revenge on the deck that beat us. I think we do an Iron Craig for now. Just a solid blocker if they have like land, uh, well forget, if they have the Conclave Tribunal now, then we are in a not a bad situation, but then we have to think about uh, whether we just run out the other one. Mm, that's pretty good. That's really good. Ugh, they always have it, don't they? They always have it. I think there's a chance we just lose life and play elite guard mage because we gain life we're back to we're back to 20 and, and we get to shoot down something i'm guessing for now we'll do uh one of these marshals just to give them the incentive to swing in with everything if they don't if they just swing in with the loxodon smiter then that's fine but for sure i don't really want to block this elite guard mage to the loyal pegasus But I will absolutely do it. And they just attack with Lockstown, which is smart. But now our next turn is really good as long as they don't have this Conclave or another Loxodon. Okay. Well, oh shit. That's pretty good. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Damn, that's actually a really good idea. I, I might steal this too. Oh, an Opt is clutch. Now we can play this other one. And we could use opt with the scry. And we will scry first. Yep, sure, why not? <laughs> we will take that. And now next turn we have a really good play again. Yeah, everything is shaping up okay. These uh, uh my queen. We gotta take down a Pegasus now. Now it's too strong for Elite Guard Mage to block. Really everything is too strong for Elite Guard Mage to block, so it's probably just gonna have to chump something. Or maybe if they attack with everything, then we will save it. Mm, yeah, because it does make that. Okay. What do they got? Defiant Strike. Jesus Christ. I don't know what this deck is, but it's, it's messing me up. Okay, so we got another one, though. So we can take down, I think we probably do the same thing as last time where we just take down Lockstown Smiter from now. The question is, do we lose life and put Royal Sounds in the board, save, dispose, and opt for next time? Hmm. Let's tap right anyway, just because hopefully this thing has some type of AI learning and <laughs> the auto tap will be less stupid. I'm leaning towards opt, but oh, Nope, I'm leaning towards them giving up. Whew, great deck. Give it a try. <laughs>